I'd like to introduce you to the methane assessment. Here's the landing page, which I hope you can see, which gives some background. Of course, there's more detail in the assessment itself. And then off on the left here, we have the two tabs you can click on, Analyze Mitigation. We'll show you a, this window where you can choose whatever uh, mitigation options you would like. I'm gonna start here by looking at all technical measures identified in the assessment. So this can reduce about 120 million tons of methane. This has all costs and not screened by cost and not screened by region. And it shows you the, the impacts, uh, many of the impacts that were analyzed in the assessment. It starts off here, we have climate and ozone, but I can scroll down and I've got a list of health impacts, mortality and morbidity impacts, as well as agricultural. But for respiratory health here, if I click on this, then I can see the reduced risks of death on the left. Total globally is about 87,000, but if I put my cursor over any country, I can see for China, 17,000, India, 24,000, Ethiopia, 700, US, 5,000, et cetera. I can also go to the right where these are in deaths per million persons. And then you can see countries like the UK stand out even although they have a smaller population and don't show up on the left panel. We can go to things like agriculture here, wheat yields, we can look at the valuation of these. Here are the benefits in terms of, of dollars, of, of mortality, health benefits, as well as agricultural benefits on the right. So the benefits, for example, for India here are over a billion dollars in wheat yield, gain, sorry, at all crop yield gains. On the left, you know, the benefits to Japan, for example, are more than $24 billion in agriculture. And we can see that the overall cost of these is just around $400 per ton, while the societal benefits are around $4,300 per ton. And then I can go in and instead of looking at all costs, I could look, for example, just the low cost measures. And instead of looking at the whole world, I could look at you know, Latin America, if that's what I was interested in. And I could look at the Middle East, wherever I like. If I go back to the entire world, and I'm still on the low cost, you can also see that there's a whole suite of subsets one can look at. YASA has produced estimates. We have also in this data set, we have estimates from the International Energy Agency for different types of, of oil and gas infrastructure and mitigation measures. We have one produced by the academic community, Harmson, and we have an analysis produced by the US EPA. If I choose one of these, for example, the total of oil and gas from the International Energy Agency, I see that I can get over 30 million tons just from that. So what this allows you to do is have the flexibility to explore different measures. I can go to more detail and see how much is from oil, how much is from gas. I can search by, search by cost. These are only the low cost ones. The all cost, of course, there's a lot more options. I can find different regions of the world, see what's important, and I can visualize any benefit that I'm interested in. With the select mitigation tool, you can go in if you have a project or a particular policy in mind and you, know, you can estimate what methane reductions that would bring you, you can put those in here and likewise view all of the benefits. So we're hoping this is very user-friendly and you will find a lot of use from this. Thank you very much.